Are you excited for the carol service? Yes, mate. One young man and woman to fight to the death. Have I rested? Have I had time to myself? No, not really. But I love a busy uni day. <laughs> Hello lovely people, I am, I want to say three minutes late, but I'm not, I'm like five, six, seven, who knows? Um, but anyways, welcome to my vlog. Today is going to be a day in the life as a pharmacy student that also has a lot of other things going on. Um, and so I feel like today is going to be a really fun day to vlog. Um, it's super busy. I only had a, I had my first lecture, I have my first lecture at 11. So usually I start at nine, but today I was like, whoa, let me get a little bit of sleep in so yeah because i've been staying up late for the past couple of days so i was like let me get some sleep in but anyways i'm on my way to class my class starts in like five minutes i'm like 10 minutes away though so describe his details then in the middle we have our clinical information we've got our drug name we've given this person methadone or, it sounds gross, but it could happen because there is still a market for methadone to be abused. Yeah. Sorry, is it common for there to be two different like dosages? Because some days patients taking twenty mils and some days taking forty mils. Is there any reason for this? Or yeah, I'm going to go into that in a minute. Oh, okay. But uh, let's see if you can work out why. So what's today? Second. Uh, so it's a Friday. Friday. The second. So take up this the weekend. I'm assuming. Yeah. But so, on the Friday, 20 mils, they're going to take it in front of me. Saturday, tomorrow, they'll come in, they've got 40 mils. And what that means is, they have to take 20 mils each day. So they will take 20 mils in front of me, and then I will have to give them 20 mils to take away. Because I'm not opening on a Sunday. So that's why it's 40 mils in that situation. So it's quite common to do that. That's why. <laughs> Um, it's more effective against bacteria and to slow down the vegetative uh, cells. So it's normally, it's a lot easier to kill live bacteria uh, than uh, the, the spores. Um, and it's not effective against viruses. This is effective uh, against viruses compared to uh, the filter sterilization. Are you ready for the next one? Not, not a morning session. No profanities, me lad. <laughs> wow. Hello, so um, we have a break from one to two, and so in that space of time, I'm going to be doing some flyering for the carol service, which is um, a service that the CU hosts. Um, and I'm part of the Christian Union and so it's happening next week so we need to do flowering for that um, so we're going to stand basically on the road and give people flyers telling them about coming to the event um, so I'm going to do that for an hour and then head off to my last two lectures for the day and by the time I finish it should be four o'clock is so, this a vlog video <laughs> or is this a... <laughs> we're doing flying I told them that we were doing flowering so Nice. Are you excited for the carol service? Yes, very excited. Amazing. Oh. Drug treatment. So I'm focusing on the two things that are on your formulary. Because they're on your formulary, you need to know all that stuff about it. How it works, um, the side effects, the indications, the doses, all this stuff from the formulary will be examinable in your end of year exam. 30 hertz straight up. them yes they use a drug they are using an illicit drug but you're not there to go well you need to stop you or don't do it stop it because they still walk away and still more could do it have a conversation about 
actually, how can they do it safely? So thinking about if they're injecting. Okay, so um, then you've got follow-on milk for nighttime or good sleep, soya milks and goat milk. Look up. So a patient uh, or a mum comes into the pharmacy and wants to ask you about, because she thinks that um, the baby is now eating either two or one or eighteen months and wants to go on to a follow-on milk. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> We're finally done with lectures. I thank God. I thank God. No, generally today was such a long day, like so long, and I have not eaten. So I want to do that. Like I didn't even have time to have breakfast this morning. I was in such a rush um, because I decided to sleep for longer. So I want to eat. I have to make a quick. Oh, oh Molly, I didn't see that. <laughs> I was explaining that I had to make a quick stop at the library because uh, I'm filming of like a day vlog. So you're in it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I and now I'm going to have my dinner. It's my dinner, lunch, breakfast because I did not eat this morning. I usually am quite good with making my stuff, but I wanted to show you guys that sometimes a morning can be really chaotic and you can just be a bit lazy. So I made myself some salmon yesterday. So this is what I had yesterday. I just packed it in in a lunch box. Usually I will have like a free period in between like my hectic days. So sometimes I'll start like at 10, finish at 5, but I'll have like a free hour in between. And then I usually take my food with me and I take it to my friend's house and I warm it up because he lives just by opposite one of our buildings. So I usually do that. But because today from 11 onwards, I had lectures, 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 lectures. And that one hour break that I had in between, I was using it to fly for the Christian Union. I didn't have time with me. So I knew that if I took my food with me to uni... There wouldn't be a time for me to actually warm it up and eat it. So I was like, I'll just eat when I get home. But that did mean I was quite hungry during the day. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's just because there was nothing I could do. But yeah. But yeah. Anyways, that being said, I have some orange juice. I made some chips myself. Had some vegetables, salmon, some sauce. Bone apple tea. Hello, lovely people. I am currently waiting for my Uber to come. And I don't know where it is. I'm going to be like... this be mary asked the angel since i am a virgin the angel answered the holy spirit will come on you and the power of the most high will overshadow you so the holy one to be born will be called the son of god even elizabeth your relative is going to have a child guys jamie hasn't seen <laughs> hunger games before <laughs> so we're gonna watch it <laughs> Yay. treason again and so it was decreed that each year the various districts of Pan Am would offer up in tribute one young man and woman to fight to the death in a pageant of honor courage and sacrifice the lone victor bathed in rituals would serve as a reminder of our generosity and our forgiveness hello i'm walking back home from jamie's and it is quarter past 11 
I am very cold. I am not hungry. I'm quite full. Jamie was so cute. She made us, um, what do you call it? We just put some pizza and some, <laughs> some pizza and some waffle fries in the oven. And we watched the first Hunger Games, which was so cute. So basically, I thought, I didn't realise she was coming to the, um, to the carol service, which I should have actually realised more students were going to go. That's the problem. You must always ask what people are doing, because I could have actually Ubered with a whole bunch of students, but then I ended up having to Uber by myself. Anyways, we Ubered back. There were like three of us in the Uber, um, which was nice. Um, but yeah, that was the end of my day. I am tired. I started my day off at what, 10 going to 11 and I closed the day off at 11. Have I rested? Have I had time to myself? No, not really, but I love a busy uni day um, and I hope you like this vlog. Goodness, I can't see anything. I hope you like my vlog. See you guys. <laughs>